like a mirror reflection of what you're thinking, what you would like to think, or what vibrations you're picking up. And the cards allow you the catalyst to relate that in a verbal story. It's a visual image that you can verbalize. At last, the fool has reached the end of his travels. He meets the world card, symbolizing completion, self-fulfillment, and true enlightenment. The fool has reached his goal. He's learned from all the stages of his journey and passed every test. In a reading, the world is a wholly positive card, suggesting happiness and resolution. It symbolizes full knowledge and finally comprehension. Complete understanding of how the tarot works still eludes both querents and readers. They're no closer to explaining the power of tarot readings than they were 200 years ago. They work. I've seen them work. I don't know why they work. What probably appeals to me most is that they're as mysterious as the cause themselves. Why it happens, why I can do a reading, why the readings make sense. I don't understand it. Most people don't understand it. But the people who do it find that it works. It's enough intuitive nature in the cards and the allegorical imagery that can combine to form a story. We're still at a loss to explain the peculiar magic of the tarot. It remains a mysterious tool which somehow unlocks thoughts and emotions and foreshadows the future. But for those who use the tarot and live with it, there's no denying it. It's all in the cards. <laughs>